welcome to another stream of Red Dead Redemption 2. Feeling a little better, but not entirely out of the woods. However, hopefully we won't have a problem where I have to uh, mute the mic and then forget that I have muted the mic. Because we definitely don't want that. We definitely don't want that. So... Let's just make sure that doesn't happen. Shouldn't be too hard. I think it'll be all right. Um, uh, let's let's um, let's do it. Oh man, Greg Carter's watching the NWA show. I can't even imagine, man. I can't even imagine how terrible that must be. I heard Tyrus retained for some reason. <clears throat> so that's good. Mike is unmuted. We are ready to go. Um, we, let me go, go ahead and make sure that Buckshot has all of the stuff on it. It's good seeing you in action with those foreman boys, like the old days. Oh, I'm just glad we got Tilly back. Yep, just in time. Gotta make sure Buckshot's got all the outfits on him. Um, so that we can, uh, do all this stuff. Yeah, a good thing for the Renegade Twins to become women's tag champs. Good, that, at least that's one good thing they did. Um, let's see here. We got, we got two and we got three. We're good. We are good to go. All right. Gonna head over here. Donate a few things to Pearson. And uh, get myself some stew. And then I believe uh, Micah probably is going to call me over there and we'll have something to do with Micah, unfortunately. Come here, Arthur. Give me a sec. My table awaits your offerings, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I will. Can't wait to taste this. Uh, let's give you some fish. This will help the stew. And some of that. Um, and we'll give you... You know what? I'm going to be nice and give you all of my big game. Looking pretty well stocked now. Good? Good job, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. Howdy do, Arthur. <laughs> what do you want? Always full of sunshine, ain't you? Old misery guts Morgan. What do you want, Micah? Hmm. Well, I, I want a friend, Arthur. I want hope. I want tomorrow to mean more than today. I want this whole damn shit show to have some kind of meaning I haven't understood. <laughs> but I ain't holding my breath. Yeah, I wouldn't. So, instead of that, how about you and me go and redistribute some property? Redistribute? Yep. From the Bowles Overland Stagecoach Company into our pockets. And you'll fight this time? I always fight. No, you always talk. But with coaches, guns are more significant than words. Oh, I'm fine with both, friend. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, then. <laughs> All right. Let's go rob you a stage. You think we need an extra gun? Probably a good idea. Bill, come on. What are we doing? Coach, stick up. Well, excellent. I'm in. Micah and Bill, there's a death sentence. There's, there's a, a good death spot sentence. where we can hit it as it comes over the river into the swamps north of here. All right. You got an actual plan this time? I got three sticks of dynamite. I got two pistols. I got you and Bill. That count as a plan? No, Buckshot's better now. Really. We fixed Buckshot. Well, He's go. all right now. <laughs> I don't know exactly what was wrong with him before, but we're good. So, who told you about this? Please 
tell me it wasn't an O'Driscoll this time. Nope, a man on the inside at Bowles Overland. You can keep your funny little station friend in Rhodes. I mm -hmm. go right to the source. Why did he tip you off? Charm bill. Not something you can learn, I regret. This is a good mission to go on because you learn a lot about how Micah thinks. Amusing. Charm. And a little money. Right. Which I recovered the next day when he met with a tragic boating accident. See, I don't like leaving trails, unlike the rest of you. What do you mean by that? We keep leading trouble right to us. We're carrying too much dead weight. We need to be leaner so we can move faster, quieter. I prefer a tight crew. Just five or six strong gunmen. Well, nobody's stopping you. There's a whole Just go out and world out form your there. own gang, Micah. Go find the strong men you want and leave. Hey, I like you boys. And with the price on our heads, we are wedded in this chaos for better or for worse at this uh -huh. point. Would sure be a thing, Micah. Would move to bail on Dutch now? Not like John did. Heard about him disappearing on you fellers. Yeah, well. That's not your business, Micah. Something like that. I don't trust him. I've been talking to Dutch. Feels to me like he's turned, challenging every move Dutch makes. I know you have your doubts about him too, Morgan. Not no, like I got you. no doubts about John. See? I've known him for 15 years. That's right. Well, if we really are going to escape somewhere like me and Dutch have been talking about, let's cut across here. It'll be quicker. Gonna need to cut some loose. From what Dutch says, the coffers are looking pretty good again. We could almost leave now if we chopped half the dead wood. We ain't doing that. I mean, why the hell do we need a gaggle of girls who won't even fuck you if you put a gun to their head? I'm sure you've tried. Is it too much to ask? Micah, that is, considering they that get is a not piece consensual. of every damn dollar I bring in. Oh, fuck Everyone you. does their share. I don't see you lifting a finger around camp. Uh, Swanson does his share. Molly, come on. Well, uh, that's different. See, it, it, this is what I mean. I've always liked Abigail, though. That's my kind of girl. Sully, but strong. No, I don't think that's well, going to work out for you, buddy. I don't get the sense the feeling is mutual. <laughs> you just don't understand women, Morgan. <laughs> You got that right. Who you got your eye on then, Bill? Okay, here we are. Oh, well, wait, what's the rest of that dialogue? Who's Who does Bill got his eye on then? the explosive planet. Boat should be coming through any minute now. All right. Let's pause this thing here. <clears throat> hey, Kate's here. Uh, Dorian is here. Get pumped. Brent. Uh, Cinebay. Ricardo, Dominic, Ryan, uh, Antoine, um, David asked what I think of Dutch as a character. I think he's an incredibly fascinating character. Um, uh, I, I do subscribe a little bit to the theory that he, he suffers a, a pretty significant brain injury. He gets a terrible concussion, uh, during uh, this chapter later, not not in this thing I'm doing tonight. That'll be on a different stream. But um, I subscribe to the theory that 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 is the catalyst, which changes his personality just enough to make him um, reckless and more violent, uh, more paranoid, because brain injuries uh, can do that to people. I believe that that is probably what is, uh, allows him to be so easily swayed by Micah in the later chapters of the game. But I think he's an incredibly, um, he's an incredibly, uh, <coughs> complex character. And yes, explosives are for the horses. It is very, very hard to do this mission without blowing up some horses. The game, it, it, like, the game basically makes you blow up horses. So for those of you who are here, 
for those of you who are here to watch horses explode, congratulations. You've got your horses explode. Oh, dealing with a dog bite and left-handed typing. That's terrible. But yeah, here we go. We're going to blow up some horses now, guys. Okay? So, I mean... I, I can't, I can't, I can't make it. I, I can't stop it. Significantly wish I could. Don't think it's going to be possible. So. Stop putting things on my back I don't want. Got some good cover over here. You hide behind this tree to my left, Morgan. Williamson, you take the other side. Try to stay out of sight. We don't want to spook them. Yep. Yes, you can get Micah's Rover in this mission. I don't, I don't want it. <laughs> it's not something I need. But yeah, you can get basically all the gang members' guns at some point. Here they come. You gonna shoot the charges, Morgan? About time you did something. Go. Let's go! No, I'm going to, I'm going to loot these fellas because they probably have some stuff I want. Not all of them. You can, no, that's not, the, that's not the watch we're going to give him though. We're going to give him a much nicer watch. All right. Jesus. It's hard. It's 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 hard to get in here because there's all these dead horses around. How much we get, cowpoke? Enough. Here. Thank you kindly. Thank you. Maybe I had you wrong, Arthur. Maybe you can win as well as fight, or maybe you was lucky. Well, we'll see. I guess how lucky any of us is. Exactly. All right. Better get out of here. Split up, I reckon. There's a couple guys over here we didn't loot yet. Bill, you forgot to loot these guys. Oh, he already did. He looted them. Ah, he looted them. Oh, boy. Let's get out of here. Uh, nothing. You didn't see anything. We're good. Right? We're all good. No lawmen. All right. Yes, uh, the Sullivans. That's my plan. My plan is to give Lenny the nicest watch in the whole game. Because I don't need the money. And I think it would be a really nice gesture from Arthur to do that. So, that's my plan. My plan is to give Lenny 
the right way. What? Why is there a bear here? Get... Why is there a bear in the middle of the road? Why? Why? Is that cocaine bear? Why, why are you here, bear? Why have you decided to join us? Um... All right. Arthur is uh, gonna head into Saint Denis and rob the gunsmith because why not? Forget what outfits I got here. This is no, that's for the that's for that. That's for that. We're not doing that yet. What's this one? No, that's for a different one. <coughs> this is the one. All right, we're good. Hey, we're gonna go and um, we're gonna go and uh. We're gonna rob the Saint the Saint Denis gunsmith because well because why not? And there's a back room there, and a high stakes poker game in the back room of the Saint Denis gunsmith that Arthur heard about. So before he gets out of town for a while, um. He's going to rob the gunsmith, but he's going to put his horse right here. Now, I did a dry run of this, and one time it went all the shit, and one time it went perfect. The best I've ever done this robbery. I mean, perfect. So, um, I'm hoping it goes the perfect one, and not the shitty one. So, we'll see. Good evening, mister. So, I am going to hitch my horse right over, right over here. You trying to make All right, buckshot. You go ahead and wait here. Alright, buddy. And I'm going to just take a little stroll around the block. No reason to suspect this cowboy is anything. Uh, uh, Ace, this is uh, Saint Denis. We are in Saint Denis. Or Saint Denis. We are in Saint Denis right now. Pardon me. Pardon me, everybody. Buenas tardes, señor. Nice night for a robbery. That's what I gotta say. All right, it's taking too long. We got to run. I wish there was a walk slightly faster button. Uh, just the other day, I saw a man get bucked right off his horse. Charlie scared the dance. And not a run button, but. No. I'm going to save my game right here. Save game. No, Buckshot is not a, a lawyer. He actually dropped out of law school. Um, but he's Enjoy got so Just, many like horse Mother student Major loans to pay off. Because even even if you don't fully uh, finish the, the curriculum, you still got to pay off those loans. It's tough. Yeah, so he's 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 in collections now, in default. It's, it's terrible. Poor guy. I don't know how he's going to pay them off. 
Good evening, mister. Yeah, nope. Uh, hello, officer. If everything uh, goes poorly, I'm probably going to shoot you in the face. But we'll just hope nothing goes poorly. Oh no. Ah, you came back. Watch yourself. Oh, pardon me, Pick sir. Pocket? Oh, Lordy. Son of a bitch. Hey, you. I think that boy he just robbed you. Yes, he did just rob me, and now I'm going to have to take my money back from him. I think you have me mistaken, sir. No, I don't. You stole I money. I will look at the site. Give me the money. Oh, I'll just take it easy. God, save Quicker. me. Quicker. Mom, oh, shit. No. I'll kill you right here. Help. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, here. <sighs> It'll never happen again. That, I swear. That, that's <laughs> enough. <laughs> now, if you loot him, you get all the money he's stolen from everybody else for the rest of the day. So, it's actually pretty good when that uh, pickpocket robs you. Because not only can you get your money back, you can right, also... Move get a whole bunch of extra money. So that's nice. Yeah, don't rob me. I'm on my way to a robbery. Aha! Ready to do some more shopping? Yeah, uh, I am. Hold on one second. <clears throat> Listen, I was just thinking I might uh, want to do a little uh, work on this particular weapon here. Um, Looks like you've been here. taking good um, care of that gun. You know, um... I think I was. I might want to get uh, some engravings. An engraving service in case you are interested. You know, just you know, just. Ooh, see, that's very nice. I like that a lot. Let's try. Uh, should we do brass or something more? Um, hmm. You know what? I've changed my mind. I'll um. I'll just. I'll just go ahead and um. Put it on my back, though. I'll. 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 I'll, I'll walk out of here with it if that's okay with you. Thanks, though. I'll take that, though. Is that is that was that everything? Hmm, did I would need anything else? Oh yeah, I forgot. One more thing. Hey, that's not going to work. This here. is a robbery. Open the register now. Oh, okay, okay. I am opening it. I will pray for your death. Well, yeah, I get it. And now, also, um, we're gonna rob this back I room. I wanna see what you got behind that door back there. Now! <laughs> Nothing. This is the back terrace. Where oh. People go relax and just get away from everything. Just Let's back go terrace? Let's relax, then. Go on, move. Open up, it's me! Again. Must be a slow day. You know how it goes? Here we go. So there you are. Where else would I be? Yeah, I suppose you're right. Do you need something? No, just came to get some fresh air. All right, then. Hey, what the hell's going on? Why all the security? What the hell's going on back here? No, nothing. I'm, I'm just paid to guard the place. Mm-hmm. Guard the back alley? Don't lie to me, you son of a bitch. I just do what I'm told. I don't ask too many questions. All right, you've got three seconds before your goddamn corpse. Three, two. Okay, okay. Take it easy. <sighs> A little poker game, that's all. Third floor, upstairs. Door deep. Jesus, please, no, please. I've told you all I know. Look, I only had this job. <clears throat> like I said, it's, it's up on the third floor. Go. Let's 
Let's not alarm them just yet. Here we go. Let's make sure this goes well. Here we go. Hey, this here's a private event. You have to leave. Uh, oh my God. If you can do this without firing a shot, and in a set amount of time. It's all right there on the table. It's all yours. Just, just stay calm, okay? There's more money in here somewhere. It stinks of it. It's just a friendly game. We don't play for big stakes. Cough it up now. You'll be coughing up your own blood. For God's sake, please. That's all we got. If I find out you fellas are holding out on me, it's going to end very badly for you. Oh, damn it. You keep your mouth shut. I will shoot you dead right there. If you don't tell me where the rest of the money is. Oh, no, 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 please. Keep it together, you imbecile. Oh, God, no. You're going to get us killed, Jim. Just tell him. Shut the hell up. Whoa, there. Take it easy. There's plenty more in that safe on the wall, but only he knows the comp. All right, I'll open the damn safe. You need to learn when to keep your mouth shut. The funny thing is, I don't know if you guys can watch, when I loot the safe, how little money is in the safe. That they were so concerned about, please don't tell them about the safe. Whatever you do, don't tell them about the safe. Keep your mouth shut. We got to protect all the money that's in the safe. The safe contains like 20 bucks. It's seventeen dollars. Seventeen dollars. That's how much they're trying to hold out for. Oh, this has gone so well so far. This has gone so well so far. Okay, and just a quick drop to the floor. That ain't something. There we go, and we're out. Nobody is the wiser, just a man dropping off a roof for no friggin' reason. Just just a man walking off a roof. Nobody knows. The cops have not been tipped off. Nobody knows I was here. Just a man walking at a leisurely place through a back alley. And... Taking a right down this alley to exactly where he parked his horse. Hello there. Hello, sir. How are you? Certainly not. Certainly didn't just rob a gunsmith. No, sir. Hello, Buckshot. Hey, you know where the, 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 uh, Hello, they won't buddy. be looking for somebody? What do you have playing today? We're playing Saviors and Savages. Oh. A trip around the world. Okay. Oh, I'd like to see that. Guess where the cops won't Take be looking if they get tipped off. You'll find a show in either of the doors beside me. In the theater. Uh, don't my, don't mind my shotgun. I'm just here to see a show. Don't mind my shotgun, Welcome everyone. I'm just here all. to see a show. I'm going to take you on a journey around the world to parts unseen by most men. Why, I have traversed the great lands and oceans of the globe right, and bring you sights and scenes from places far away. Yes. 
A great deal of the world is populated by unwashed savages that don't have the decency savages. to cover their reproductive organs. First, to jolly old England. You may wonder why, when you meet a British person, they have tiny red eyes, big ears, and long noses. We can now reveal the truth. Since the opening of the underground See, the whole thing is that Lee Harvey Oswald, years ago, uh, the they weren't looking, didn't, nobody got the idea to look for a gunman the in a theater until the like 60 years after this. By rain or refinery so, smoke. Right now they didn't think to look for them. People living among stalagmites in their dainty hats. And they have an underground king who worships an underground garden gnome. Have any of you been to New York City? It seems like the whole world is ending up on that tiny island. Now there's Lady Liberty, a marvelous statue. To welcome all the yeah, I missed the gold nugget on the table, you're right. Country. I forgot After about the gold nugget. I always forget about the gold nugget for problems. some reason. They are welcomed by tourists who toss potatoes out of the head of that lady. In New York City, they are making buildings so high, so high one York day City. you can walk to the moon for a picnic. Wow. Wouldn't that be grand? It would be it's so true. grand. Now, we spoke of that unwashed statue. So unwashed. It was a gift from France. Well, that explains the unwashing. How paid for such a gift? Wanton prostitution? <laughs> Selling of wine and horse meat? No, sir. I'm here to tell you that underneath the streets of Paris, they have discovered black gold. That's Ooh, right. Okay. And a few years ago, Gustave Eiffel of the Eiffel Oil Company built the tallest oh, oil derrick in the world. Oh, is that what the Eiffel Tower is? Yes, it's an oil derrick. I, didn't, I was unaware. Paris, you will find that thick business. It oh, ignites thick like business. brandy, which is why double C drink it as business. an aperitif to aid digestion. The women mm. of France are dainty and fair of skin, partially because they use that crude oil to bathe in, anointing and greasing their bodies, often before committing sinful pleasures of the There's flesh. There's not an alien mission. You can find a UFO their ways in, in the are game. falling Get behind. Points. Visit the streets of Italy, and there is literally nobody left. The churches are empty. There is nobody drinking tiny coffees and slurping spaghetti in the streets. The Italians have never been known for good architecture, and their crooked buildings oh, no. are falling over. Where have That's all terrible. the hairy women and men gone? Where are them Italians? It is one of the world's great mysteries. You may have heard talk of a horse. Where are them Italians? Being invented. Powered by whale oil, vapors, or... Get pumped, it's not a real fact. No. All, all, the, all this is, is fake. What is more exciting, all this the is Germans fake. have developed a mechanized horse that never needs to eat or sleep. It is a marvel of invention and is intended to facilitate the German army when it invades France or Russia oh, good. in their campaign to no spread Germany. the gastronomical wonders of low-quality beer, sausages, mm. and sauerkraut. They love cabbage. But other than America, where we have plenty of room, it is so crowded in Europe that they are oh, really? racing to set up a new country at the North Pole. Oh, where they Santa can dine lives. on the delicacy of frozen fish, penguins, and polar bears. Mm. Imagine a place that never gets hot. You don't sweat while toiling in the field, and ice is much cheaper there. Oh, so I predict cheap. that someday people of all nations will join hands at the North Pole wearing furs and eating fish. My next adventure will be to visit Egypt, where I hear they live in giant triangles and talk in a Chinese-like language of birds and eyes and squiggly lines. And they worship cats, oh, cats. which is a bit worrisome and unsavory. I Thank mean, you, ladies you're and like 2,000 years too late for all that, but... fantastic journeys. Well, 4,000, really, but... Thank you. Now, Arthur will walk out of the theater into the morning sunlight. Uh, and there will be no cops looking for him. And everything will be fine. Good to see you. Come back for well, another one. Hello, Buckshot. How are you? You seem well. Hey, how you doing? Okay, fellas. Nice. Morning. That'll be the end of that. Pardon, okay. pardon me, no, sirs. Pardon, pardon me, pardon me. Pardon me.
Oh, I'm gonna take a stagecoach up to Valentine. How about that? You follow along behind, Buckshot, okay? Can I get a ride, please, partner? To where you need to be. I'd like to go up to Valentine if that's all right. I need to go to Valentine. Okay. Just preparing you. We're in for a ride and a half. Oh, hello there, Buckshot. Thank you for following on, on behind. That's very nice of you. Um, I'm going to lead you over to the... Come on. There you go. All right. Um, let's switch over to this. Because now we're in colder weather, so we got a coat. And we're all ready later tonight to um, meet you up with Eagle Flies. Something arrived here from the mayor. I guess they just send it to every post office. Thanks, Mister. <clears throat> Monsieur Kilgore, I could not have wished for better fruits from our um, unconventional partnership. The works hanging in our gallery are quite rightly authenticated, and that grubby little man from New Haven has acquired some humility. Excellent. I do hope you might be willing to work with me again. Many men of more secure positions than yours would do desperate things to be in the good graces of the mayor. And to use an Americanism, I feel I still have some chips to cash. I trust you understand my meaning. As before, come to the back of the mayoral residence one night and Jean-Marc will let you in. Thank you again, your friend, Henri Lemieux. All right, we'll have to go back there some night. Good morning. For now, let's go to the saloon and uh, have a bite to eat and a drink. What? Hey, is that is that my old friend? Hey, I didn't see you there before, buddy. It's my old friend, the uh, war veteran. Hey, brother. Can I get a buck, mister? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Oh, thank you, mister. I thought there was going to be a scene between them. I guess not. I guess I'm just. I guess that was just supposed to like, be something you do if you're nice. I think there was a scene, some more dialogue, but I guess not. Hey, that's an oil wagon.
We're going to be doing some things near oil wagons later. Listen to their little di uh, dialogue here. Morning, partner. Is nothing but a spreader of lies and a believer of nonsense. Our mother had a son, and then was buried, but a witch. Passing the house gave her a boy, and she kept it. Hello. Unbeknownst to my mother, that boy was sent forth from the fiery pits of hell. Oh, you can tell he's not human because of his beady red eyes and his bestial tail. Ooh, People bestial have tried tail. to drown him many times. But of course, he floats. No, the only way to kill him is to stab him in his villain's heart. That being said, my dear Miss Helen, like all creatures of the night, he's nothing but a terrible coward. Oh, this man is scared of his own shadow. Scared of his own shadow. He to be nursed until he was 15. He sleeps wow. with the lights on and is never happier than when he is being cuddled by the strong motherly type. I am many things. But a coward, I am not. A fool for putting up with your tripe, perhaps, dear brother. But a coward, take it back. Mm -hmm. a coward, I'm not. Oh, I've touched a nerve, I see. Mm -hmm. All right. They'll just stand there with their hands on their hips for like 10 days. Uh, so I got to go over there and then they'll talk to me. But if you walk over too early, they'll, they'll interrupt all their dialogue. Yeah? What do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but well, they're tis supposed no to, like, talk to me Can first, but I guess they didn't. Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here? To somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep... Seated inadequacy. Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very is, silly. The man is, silly. is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Hey, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. <laughs> Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> All right. Listen. Okay, here we go. Just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> okay. We're waiting for you, mister. Fire away! Ready? Aim! Fire! Sir? Good! Sir? I didn't bat an eye! What are you for? You got it! <laughs> How did I that miss was the fun. second shot? That's what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. <laughs> Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. Please, this creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. <sighs> I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. Shoot, sir, while our courage holds. Don't think too much about it. Just shoot. Oh, he got it. Of course. Good shot, sir. And now for me. 
You're such silly man. There it goes! Now I'll stand on one leg! Me too! You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast! He emerged fully formed from the swamps, Helen! Silence, you blackguard! Sir, shoot the wretch! I'm ready! You're deranged. Shoot away, sir, my bottle and his brains, if you please. Oh, At least I have brains. Now is as good a time as any! Come on. Why? I must be that the bravest man I know. Shoot mine. Oh, you boys. This is mighty dangerous. Alright. Go. This is harder because you're moving around too much. Hold still. Excellent. Whew. Finally. Now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Oh, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering oh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. You are too much. Nope, my sweet. They paid me a dollar fifty. Those guys look like they got they got more money than that. A dollar fifty. A dollar fifty. Wow. That's Don't spend so it all in one place, I guess. What's it to be? A beer, please. Hey there, mister. One beer. Are you in the mood for some fun? Another? Mm. Just give me a drink, quick. You come far today? Hello, sure looks brother. like it. <laughs> One more? No. I will have some food, though. Give me the lamb oh, fry. Yeah. Lamb fry. You can see him reading the cards under his breath. That's yeah. still too early yet. Take a seat, partner. Maybe I'll quit this once I get rich. Hope I don't lose much. Misses will tan my hide. All right. Six five suited. I'll call. I'll see you. Uh -uh. Hello, Peyton. Dang. Yeah. Have these scraps. You bluffing? That can't be right. All right. Sure. Six five suited connectors. You got to see the flop at least, right? What are we here about this empty glass? Ooh, we got we got three to uh. a flush. No. We got a five, six, seven. I'll uh, check. No. I'll you check. Play with this. Hey, Peyton. Hello. Right Good to see I'll you. Pass. What? Well, yeah, I've got to fold that. Don't worry, I'm coming back for this. Oh my God. Shit. Ha! Looky. <laughs> you bluff. At that position, with that much money, 
And you weren't gonna, you weren't gonna just, you weren't pot committed at that point? All right. Lucky Come on, Cecil, so you gotta play better than that. That is ain't a pleasure. This is business. This is uh, Arthur practicing like for his big riverboat thing children. we're gonna do later. Eight nine. Nah. Got to stay in unless anybody b bets big. All right, I'll check. Check, I think. I'll check. Yes, get pumped. Don't forget to smash that like button. Uh, it always helps. I'll check. Five. Se I'm. I got an inside straight draw. All I need is a six. As long uh, as you boys no. don't make it too rich for my blood. Four cents. Come on, then. How are you doing? Oh, he's raising. You, got something? you can't hide it. You know what? I'll call it. It's eight cents. Uh huh. Mm, so have to do. Now, Seems now what do we do? Up. You continue raise. to raise, huh? I'm calling That's it. All. My lord, you're born. Sure. Come on. All right, here we go. Give me a six. That was not a six. I will yeah. also check. Uh, check. Come on, we can do better. Hmm. I'll raise. All right, no, let, I'll let no. you fellas. I'll leave you fellas to it. Please don't. Please don't flip over a six. Ah, uh, see, smart. Got out of there just in time. Check. Watch out! My luck's just starting. That whore last night left me mighty itchy. That whore last night left me mighty itchy? Is that what you said, sir? The doctor's office is down the street. Pair of nines. Folding. Oh, all you guys are folding? But I got a pair of nines. Got to bet it anyway. That's all I got. Here we go. All right. I got a pair I'm of nines. Fine. Hell. Let's put some heat under this. Hmm? Hell yeah. What you I'm got? I'm going to go. Hey, this ain't a fist fight. Come on. Pair of what you it. got? I got a pair of nines. Nothing but scraps. Oh, uh, no, no hearts, no king, no ace. No hearts, no king, no ace. Uh, That's one okay. art. That's a five. Let's go. Yeah. Gonna go me like a damn fish. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Did it. Did it. Did it. Come on, let's keep this up. Well, well, Sean, how done. All right. What time is it? Three? Okay, I can play one more hand or two. I can play a hand or two before I have to go meet Eagle Flies. Got this, big dumb moron. Don't, don't say that about yourself, Arthur. That's not very nice. Hmm. Huh. Like they say. Nothing wagered, nothing gained. King, queen, I'll call uh -huh. it. Stay in, figure out what's going on here. I do love uh, the yeah. scout jackets too, Dominic. Uh, there's a glitch that happens sometimes where the, the textures will all f fall apart, but Here's this. so far so good. Right. Got a king, queen, and an ace. Oh. Holy shit. You got three to a flush. Three to the second nut flush. Two more diamonds and we got a we got an unbeatable hand. I'll call. Step up sometime. Oh, she is gonna nope. kill me. Here we go. Just me and you, partner. Ooh, I got a pair of queens. You ready to play now? No way. You're lying. I got a pair of queens with a king kicker. I'm gonna call bullshit on that. Cecil, you're a terrible phone. poker player. I got a pair of queens with a king. 
What do you got? You got a pair oh of aces? God, ah, you beat me. Uh, no. This, yeah. You beat me. Oh, you're, you're, you're playing crap. slow. Whores is going to be walking bow-legged tonight, the man said. Whores is going to be walking bow-legged tonight, the man said. Ladies love a winner. Put as much money as you like on that. All right, I got an ace in there. What? Control... My control ran out of batteries. That is unfortunate. Uh, we'll be right back. <laughs> we'll be right back. Um, I got to use this now. We'll be right back. My control ran out of batteries. We'll be right back. And we're back. Ooh, ace two. Call. Keep things cagey. Going all in. With for sixteen cents. I'm a call. I'll raise you. Hmm. All in for sixteen cents for him too. Five six nine. I'll check. <clears throat> I don't know what you got, Norman. Four five six. You got the seven eight, do you? I got an ace high. I don't think yes. you got much of anything. You might have you might have paired it up, but I got an ace high. Now I got a pair of aces. I'm going to put you to a decision for all your money, Norman. Can you beat a pair of aces? Uh, how about that? Be good to me now. Come on. Okay. Here you go. Shit, these are <laughs> I just busted Damn, three dudes at once. There we go. Someone up there is looking out for me. Shit. Oh, right. hey, he got a jack. Oh, that guy's got a straight. Good for you, fellas. I only busted one of you. All right, well, it's time for me to go, fellas. How about we do this? I'll buy it. Thanks for your assistance. Greet it, game to go. <laughs> All right.
Okay, buckshot. Hey, partner. Still got mouths to feed, huh? Give him one of these ribs, just watch him grow. All right, 5 p.m. Hello. Late afternoon. Sorry about that. Didn't want to run into that stagecoach there. Go on, get going. Yep. Head around the south side of the uh, plateau here. Oh, here come, here come those nasty bounty hunters. How many of them are you? Ooh, a lot of guys. A lot of guys. Ooh, we got dogs too. See. We got six bounty hunters and two law dogs. I don't want to. I don't want. And the only thing you can do when the when the dogs come at you is kill them, and I don't want to do that. So I'll just I'll just I'll just ride this direction until until they give up. I don't have any interest in killing dogs. Why won't my, um... Yeah. There we go. Now let's go find eagle flies, and let's do a little stealthing. Let's save our game. <clears throat> it's true. Definitely, yeah. When if we, if ever we get a chance to interview Bobby Fish, definitely got to ask him about his childhood in the 1890s. All right, here we go. go wow kate is calling a bobby fish match will it be bare knuckle or marcus of queensberry rules he came of course i came said i would there's a foreman his name is danbury is the files in the office above the refinery room it's that window with the blind drawn up I see. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, 
Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Otherwise, you'll have to sneak past the guards. No, I'm gonna go ahead and sneak into this wagon here. You won't even know I'm here. Alright, we're sneaking in, folks. We're sneaking in. Dressed all in black. Is that you, Al? Hey, Tom. Picking up? Yep. Supposed to meet the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. Suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Go. Ah. You must be Danbury. Who? <clears throat> what? Quiet yourself, friend. This won't take long. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office? To 
Does that seem important right now? No. Need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I... Danbury. Think, man. A mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over such a nice I... floor as this. It's here. It's here. See? Was that so You're hard? Doing good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. No, Danbury. Tell the guard you're fine. Yes, it's just... I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. To get you? Head office will send me back to get you. Here we go. No problem at all. We'll just slide off the roof and we're clear. Or Weapons not. On the ground and hands in the air. Easy now, fellas. Now, we won't tell you again. That is a fantastic distraction. You're done. In case you're wondering how I snapped the, uh, um, the, uh, what's it called? Thumbnail for this video? This is where I got it from. I love this shot. With the, with the fiery oil derrick in the background and silhouette. I love this shot so much. That's so good, man. The photo mode in this game is really top-notch. You can do a lot of really cool things with it. They're coming coming. After coming. Us. Doesn't matter. We got him. Good. That explosion came just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were going to enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. 
But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. I often wonder what would happen if you decided to go back to Cornwall, Kerosene, and Tar right there. <clears throat> All right. Overwrite that. Guess they got the oil derrick fire under control. Yeah. <laughs> Let's head back. made it out okay. There's a camp over there. Let's investigate. Yeah. Why the hell not? Some friends of ours we met a while back. Take me back, hey, Mister. To the oh, hey, friend. You boys don't look so fresh. We ain't. I think we're dying, friend. We ate some bad mushrooms. Bad business, sure. It's been real tough, partner. So it seems. I hate to ask, but we need it's some those medicine. those chain gang fellas. Kind of fast. Medicine? Yeah, look at us. Look at me. And he's worse than he looks. Oh. Uh -oh. And he looks like shit. He ain't gonna last three days. 
And me? I ain't well. Not at all. Not at all. Uh, I'm, I'm begging you, partner. Uh. Yeah, sure, why not? Why? I told you it'd help us. I told you. I told you, did I? You did. You told me. You told me a lot of things. We're gonna be all right, buddy. Are we? Well, physically. Drink this. I'll give it to Black first. No, no, no. No, give it to White. No, no. Drink this and Take shut it. up. Thank you. Oh, uh, oh that's good stuff. Ooh. But listen. Uh, I reckon you boys should get on out of here. Maybe split up. Head up north or overseas. They don't like groups of men. I know. I hear you, boss. It's time. Oh, once we're better. Oh, yeah, well, I agree. I mean, I, I, I can't wait to be rid of you. Embarrassing. Embarrassing? Yeah, you're an embarrassment. Well, be embarrassed no more. Get back to where folks like you, and I'll go where they like me. Uh, oh, I shall. Shut up, will you? <laughs> With pleasure. I wish we could talk to them. Like, see you later, fellas. Stay away from those bad mushrooms. Supposed to meet Trelawney to uh, to rob that riverboat, but not until late afternoon. So, what do you say we go rob a stagecoach in Rhodes, and then go rob a riverboat in San Denis? How about that? That's, uh, that's where we robbed those, what we, uh, got those horses. Uh, it's got cows. We got some cows. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna go rob a stagecoach. And then we're gonna rob a riverboat. I think that's where we're going to call it a night. <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. Um, let me go say... I'm going to go sell my... Uh, <laughs> all the pocket watches I have uh, to... guy. Nice to see you again, mister. Got anything good for me by any chance? Sure. Well, I got, Let me see. I got, uh, let me see here. I got, a, I got a pocket watch. No questions asked. Good. I sold all my pocket watches. Now, when I get the pocket watch hey, you know, boy. from the next mission, I can give it, hopefully, Pretty sure I can. I can give it to Lenny. Yeah. Been waiting to give it to him for like, I don't know, 12 episodes.
A very good morning to you. Yeah, same to you, buddy. Sir, good morning. Don't rush me. I'll get to you. I, I didn't say anything. Ah, good, good to see you. you. Let me write down the name of that, uh, tailor for you. So, what are we looking at? Passengers, a wealthy merchant. Always travels with a lot of cash on him. Details on the note. Okay. Good seeing you, Alden. And you, my friend. And you. Let's see what it says. Road southwest of Bolger Glade. Look for a carriage coming from the south. Passenger's a wealthy merchant. Probably keeps his cash hidden. So might need some persuasion. All right. Rob us a stage. And then we'll rob us a riverboat. And then we'll go to bed. Here we go. These damn roads are hell on my back. Could you please control your horse? I'm taking us as gently as... Hey, stop the coach. Ignore him. Keep moving. Hey, you're gonna need to move out of the way. Listen, I've been told to shoot anyone trailing me. Yeah. being robbed. Oh no, 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 Hold still, mister. I know about the money. Hand it over. I don't know what you're talking about. <clears throat> okay, okay, stop! I'll tell you, there's a lockbox hidden under the coach. The money's in there. You better not be lying to me. I'm not, I swear. <clears throat>
don't want to do that. Twenty-seven bucks. That's it. That's it. I'm sorry. Just walk away from this. Hey, Got not so fast. Oh well. You'll be all right. That's fine. Boy. I didn't expect yeah. that to happen, so I'm going to leave now. <laughs> I thought it was clean as a whistle. I didn't expect uh, there to be any witnesses. That's too bad. Oh well. Okay, well, I guess so, yeah. <clears throat> Apparently, even though the snow is melting all over the place, there is a snow sculpture competition near me that we might go, my family and I might go, not, might go check out tomorrow. It seems weird, I know, but... We might give it, give it a shot. dollar bounty. It's only 10 in the morning. Alright, well. That's all we got left to do around here, I guess. No, the, the witness got away. I just winged the witness. Okay, the witness did not... He got away. Uh, it's, it's funny that, like... I just winged him. Uh, it's funny that I only got a $5 bounty for kidnapping. Uh, when I also should probably get a, 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 wit, a, a, a bounty for also shooting a man. Who is not the same man that I kidnapped. I feel like that's probably an oversight, considering it was the man that I shot reporting the first crime, but not the second, which is a grievous bodily injury to himself. Just showing up over here to, you know, pay off a bounty. So oh, sorry, sir. Sorry. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. I'm only kidding around. Let's just leave it at that. Let's let 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 us both leave it at that. That was Sorry, I'll try to control my horse better, sir. Sorry, sir. Good to see you again, mister. Yikes. Uh, y'all pay the bounty. 
How can one crook raise so much hell? I don't know, but I'm not paying this off. I'm never paying it off. Hey now. Thank you. Really. Um. Okay, fella. Go find Trelawney. It's this guy. Difference between the races using real What's the science? trouble with you? I want you to ask yourself, do I consider myself pure? That was not good. And then I want you to ask yourself, what is the most disgusting, revolting, vulgar, and depressing thing in all creation? The morning, sir. Mangling. Oh, mingling. Nature. Nature likes purity. Mm -hmm. Nature does not like co mingling. Oh, is that true? Nature likes a family tree, not a family bush. And this being America, and us being nature's paradise on Earth, uh -huh. we must push for purity. Oh, is that what we gotta push I for? I want you. I need you. Be pure. So you're the master race, huh? You, sir, do you want a pamphlet? Okay. Read it. It's really interesting stuff. I explain, using real science, why we whites are under attack, oh. and what we must do to fight back. Under attack? Yes, under attack. People aren't the same, sir. I mean, white people are the same. And all the mm -hmm. other races are trying to kill us. Oh, I wow, look how far die, we've come sir. in 120 years. I got friends who's Mexican, friends who's Indian, Known blacks, Irish, Italians, good and bad and all. I've known good white people and bad white people. And above all, <clears throat> dumb white people. You, sir, are a real fool. <coughs> oh, am I? How can you possibly believe in equality? I've never heard such nonsense in all my natural born days. This man believes people are equal. Speak for yourself, sir. Speak for yourself. I'm sorry. You just call me a fool? A fool! A fool! A fool! Come here! Someone help me! Oh boy, I don't need to get in this. <laughs> There's an officer right there. He saw me beat the hell out of that guy, and he doesn't care because he knows what a piece of shit that dude is. How do you do, sir? What? Well, now I feel like I can go and uh, meet Trelawney in peace. Let's go meet Trelawney and get on this riverboat.
And we'll save our game. Let's do this. Ah, there you are, dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Excellent. Well, you'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. Make this gentleman look like the Duke he really is. The it was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. Bespoke fine three You can see the aristocrat in his profile. The heavy brow from all the inbreeding. Might I suggest the fine three-piece town suit, sir? Perfect for the occasion, I'd say. This, all this stuff they wrote here, you can only read it this we time. It is never on, on it's yet, not Arthur. in the, um... <clears throat> Isn't that nice? Look at that. It's never in the, uh... Stop, stop. Let's get you out of that cattle and into something decent. It's never in the catalog at any other time. Good choice, sir. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. Oh. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. Oh. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. Ah. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. Mm. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might. But perhaps <coughs> not. You will see. The suspense okay. is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. Here we go. So you get along my good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. All right, 
do this, and we'll get ourselves a nice little neat. Make him look like a prince, sir. Very good. That, doesn't that look smart? Doesn't that look just smart? Perfect. Oh, Styles, hold on. Pa made that shit. Very nice. Ooh, look at look at that. Doesn't he look great? Okay, let's uh, get let's get the beard a little better here. Oh no, he's got to have some kind of facial hair on. We're supposed to be James Bond. Ooh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Ooh, not bad, not bad. Mm, that's very, very... Mm -hmm, possibly. Possibly. Oh, no. It's not terrible. Not terrible. I don't mind that so much. You know what? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to throw the pencil mustache in there. Let me give it a four here. And the pencil mustache. Uh, sideburns. Um, we are going to just shave those all the way off. No sideburns. Um, yeah, let's get those right the hell off there. Um, chin styles. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Look at that. Isn't that, isn't that uh, nice? I don't know, but I'm going to see the mustache could be a little... Oh, oh. oh. Now, I like a little bit of the flick there. That's nice, right there. Hmm? Ah, I like it. Right there. Perfect! Perfect! We are going on the riverboat. Here we go. There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the docks. I've arranged some transportation for us. Oh, it's like the world's Jericho Brown here. Well, it's got to get worse before it gets better. Hope you have a successful evening, gentlemen. George! To the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad, the Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach. We can't win it up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't Hamlet. This ain't so, Hamlet. Who's a mark? Are you all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. Oh, it's a man you can tell he's Desmond a man of trustworthy. Fly. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make That's sure right. we get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting for you. All right. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. We are searchers when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. <coughs> good luck, sir. All right. 
Lost to the furnace last night. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. He repeated that for a reason, I think. There they are. Look, this is the first time I'm Gentlemen, really realizing why he how repeated How wonderful it. to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, Jack. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I get a cocktail? Take a seat, sir. Are you joining us? Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Bly. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. Hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fared? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my ladies. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Mm -hmm. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny. I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting in the hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. All right, here we go. I'll call. Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. <laughs> all right, I'll call. No, I'm gonna call. Interesting. Pair of cowgirls. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning... I heard, well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why, I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. 
Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. I always love playing this mission right after doing the one with Eagle Flies because I just think of Arthur coming up with that line in reference to doing the stealth mission in the oil refinery. I was lucky enough to tour an operation of his. Love it. <laughs> I am 100% all in, Mr. Callahan. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. It's a code. Trelawney was telling Arthur, everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Remember, remember, everyone is the author of his own good fortune because the dealer is in on it. And the dealer repeats the code phrase to Arthur, so Arthur knows to go all in. I love it, man. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pair kings. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh oh. Nine ten. Yes. He's got a diamond baby. flush. Hard lines, Mr. Blind. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. God damn you! N no offense. None take. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. So many racists <laughs> in 1899. We live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but... Fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Oh, good. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. <coughs> Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <coughs> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Shit, let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe, let's get out of here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. All right. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. Yeah. If we're lucky. Was that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. 
This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involves I love that phrase. dressing up as dancing. All garnish, no can meat. Cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I'd give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away till we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. Ah, <laughs> look, there's your friend. My friend is not a no good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. Now, don't be a sore loser, friends. Something I don't like about the pair of you. <laughs> There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is! Shoot that man! Here we go. Come on, Roger! We gotta get out of here! Good job, Strauss. What Just fuck that guy now? with a champagne bottle. Taloni? Not what we discussed. What's our next move here? We need to get out of here. Oh, how do you suggest? I don't know. This ain't my show. Silly me. I clean forgot to bring my gondola. Behind me. Never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? Uh, a few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch, uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss, uh, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Clean and handsome Arthur is. My God. Oh, oh my God. Look, look at look was. Oh my goodness. Jeez. Arthur, my stars. Looks like. Oh, wow. Ooh, ooh. I'm all a Twitter. I hate that it's raining. Hold on. I don't want it to be raining. <laughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> um. All right, here we go. Over right here. Yeah, you can't bring John on that job. If you brought John on that job, you'd have one less John in the gang. Can't do that. 
can't do that. All right, let's hope that when I do this, um, let's hope when I do this, it won't be raining anymore. I really don't want it to be raining at this part. Sorry. I'm such, I'm such an OCD guy. It shouldn't be raining during this next scene. It really can't be. No, John can't swim. It's it's funny because it, in Red Dead Redemption One, if you ever like get further than knee deep into water, you just die. So they made it a thing in Red Dead Redemption Two that John can't swim. Like he he actually Arthur would tease him about it. It's a fun little detail. See, this is much better, much nicer. Much nicer. Good morning, Dean. Esther. Maybe All right. Hello. This is, of course, um, we're about to meet again, Charles Chatenay, uh, who we met during our first uh, ex foray into Saint Denis, uh, the uh, wonderfully colorful little uh, French painter. Um, and here we go. If I see you again. Uh, of course. Merci. So you can shoot that guy. You can hit him. You can threaten him. Uh, and he'll stop pointing a gun at the guy. But then you'll incur a wanted level. And that's stupid. Uh, and this little um, cutscene doesn't happen. It's a different cutscene. It's not nearly as good. I love this version the most. That's why I never actually save Charles from, from a guy pointing a gun at him. Because I think Arthur wants to see what happens. And merci to you too. A great good deal you did for me. Come on. You got yourself into trouble. You got yourself out of it. Oh, maybe, mon ami. Maybe. If only the getting out of trouble was as much fun as getting into it. <laughs> Sometimes the getting in ain't so fun either. Oh, then you're getting into the wrong kind of trouble. Huh? I, I'm having a silly little show at the gallery. You'll come, huh? We'll see. <laughs> There are so many alternate cutscenes in this game, depending on the choices that you make. And some of them seem 
completely counterintuitive. Like when you see a guy pointing a gun at Charles, this this little French painter, your first thought would be I should intervene. Uh, but you don't have to. And if you don't, it actually shows more of the relationship between the two of them than anything else. I love it. I love it. All right, hold on. Let me check and make sure that I, um... No, you can't shoot the William Tell guys. It, it fails the mission. Unfortunately, it fails the mission. I don't think it, I don't think it should fail the mission, but it does. They, they don't want you to, to, they don't want you to shoot the William Tell guys. Um, let me see here. What it was, is that, was that the last thing I wanted to do today? I think it was. Um, hold on. Yes. That was, indeed, the last thing I was supposed to do. Oh! Wait. You know what? One last thing. One last thing before we go. Okay? We're gonna go and f we're gonna meet Black Bell. Kate? You gotta meet back Black Bell. Everyone here's gotta meet Black Bell. Black Bell is awesome. Black Bell is awesome. We gotta meet Black Bell. Here we go. We're gonna meet Black Bell. <clears throat> May Bell Elizabeth Coulter. The Grand Dom of the Gunslingers, the Dynamite Dowager, married six times to six gentlemen. Kind of like, um, kind of like Linda. Uh, gamblers, robberies, outlaws, everyone. Never divorced, dressers in her widow's weeds. Sole remaining survivor of the Coulter Tobin Bank gang. Outlawed after robbery and roads. Private contract for her life or liberty, large reward. Last reported seeing near Blue Water Marsh. Do not approach. Too dangerous for mere biographer. All right. And she's up here in the only house in um, in Blue Water Marsh. Easy enough to find. And because Arthur looks so damned handsome, I figure he should go meet her right now. Maybe he'll be no lucky number seven. Maybe he'll be lucky number seven because he's just so damned handsome. Buckshot, did you come down the alley? All right, let's go. Let's go meet Black Bell. You just don't like Chinese people. You won't see any more of my money. <laughs> All right, you can. I could go back there and shoot a bunch of rats in a bar. This has been, as you all know, a oh. long time coming. Hey, it's Lindsay Wofford. It's the Lemoyne Raider I brought in to hang. And perversions of the truth, but you, you have not gotten past your memory of it. Ha! This is a goddamn travesty. A federation built on lies. Lindsay Wofford. A senior member of the outlaw gang they call the Lemoyne Raiders. Guess the great fight is over Taking bounty jobs. I'm stealing. And Damn countless mongrels. atrocities against lawmen and state officials. I say to you today, we will not tolerate these intimidation tactics. No, we will not. Any longer. Come on. For laying waste to this good state and abusing the fine people in it, you will die. Hell, I'm weary of it. Pull it. <laughs> 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 
Imagine that was a long time coming. Well, the Raiders are a goddamn man. <coughs> There's much work to do yet. That is true. There's a lot of them Let's left over. Boy. They're still out there. Hello? All right. Go find Black Bell. No, the electric chair gimmick did not go well. They decided not to not to stick with that. Go right back to the old tried and true hanging. Almost rid of this damn cold. Don't need that. Stop putting stuff on my back that I don't want. I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West days. I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? None that spring to mind. Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Ah, those bounty hunters. Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Well, get inside. I'll tell them you're gone. Oh, no, no. I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. I ain't running from them neither. And fighting? Well, if it's just me against Sam, <laughs> that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. Well, let me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Yes, I do. All right. Get up here, quick. Now, when I give you the word, hit that. Whole place is wired. Black Bell, I got a contract here for your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here, let me take a look at it. Come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> Stop just there. Now, set it off. This is one of my side. favorite shootouts in the entire game. You're 
lucky I'm all married out. Scalp hunters off your back. Not for now. For now. So, <coughs> you gonna tell me about your Wild West days? Running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight. And that's about the end of it. Well, a man's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say. But, uh, don't get what's famous confused with what's true. The ones of us that lived that life, we was too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. Well, what were they like then? Those days they all talk about. <sighs> Same as now, I guess. Only... If there's another prequel, another prequel, like Red Dead Redemption 3 is actually a prequel, like back in the old real wild wild west days i really hope black bell is the protagonist and we get to play as black bell i think that would be so friggin cool i think it'd be so friggin cool if we got to play as black bell in like 1870 it'd be so great longer ago <laughs> all right i'm gonna need your picture too if it ain't a trouble no sir no trouble at all can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, you stand over there and oh, let me get this thing ready. Uh, ready? How do you want me? Like this? Uh, I ain't sure. How about this then? Oh, that's great. Yeah, we'll do that one. Oh, that's great. Look, look at her. Oh, she's beautiful. I know my camera roll is full. I get it. I, I understand. Okay. I got it. Then I guess I'll be on my way. Here. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. You gonna be all right? Oh, been running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Yep. Good luck. <laughs> and now we have so many corpses to loot it's the best part it's gonna loot some corpses how you doing sir good how about your friend over here with a gatling gun you all right okay Okay, uh, uh, let's go over here, though. Oh, there's a big bunch of them over here in the mud. Look at all of them in the mud over here. This is fun. Yep, that's good. Just face down in the muck. That's where you belong, bounty hunter. Okay, good. All right, let's do this. Okay. Hello, Dave. Good to have you here. All right, this is just, just 
running through the mud, looting corpses. Just exactly how you need to spend the rest of your day. Now after this, we're going to check and make sure we don't have any extra pocket watches. And if we do, we got to go sell them to the fence or donate them at the, uh, at the, um, the box. Hey, there's an alligator. How's it going? Oh, got a pocket watch. Got to donate that one or, or, or get rid of it somehow. Oh, you know what that means? We can't give the Reutlinger to, to Lenny. The fact that that popped up means we can't give the Reutlinger to Lenny. That, that blows. Okay, I'm going to pretend I do, okay? I'm going to pretend that when I give him a pocket watch... Um, I'm going to pretend that when I give him a pocket watch, I'm giving him the right linger, okay? Can we just agree to, like, just... That's our little headcanon. Because you can't choose. You just, like, say, hey, I got a pocket watch for you, and the game chooses which one it's going to give him. And... That's not what I want. I want to be able to give him the one I want. But apparently you're not allowed to do that. Alright, cool. Puppy Monkey Baby was the worst. You're right. It was the worst. Absolutely the worst. Okay, okay let's fast travel back to Shady Bell. And, um... And then we'll find Lenny and we'll give him... We'll give him the Reutlinger. Right? We'll give him the Reutlinger? Your eyes open, Bill. So, apparently, the horseless carriage is a reality in Germany. I read about it in the newspaper. By next year, we'll all be driving. And flying, too, no doubt. <laughs> See, I like a horse well enough to not want to give one up for a machine. Well, maybe the horse can ride in the Good carriage evening, with Arthur. you. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's an idea. My God, what is he putting in this slop? He waits until the meat is crawling with lice, and then he cooks it. Oh, that explains it. <laughs> I've been giving him good hey, meat. You too. Mind your manners a little. Mr. Pearson, he takes good care of us. About time you rested up. Javier. What's that all?
Oh, I like this right here. Mr. Bale? Oh, what are you putting here? Call me Micah. I won't, if you don't mind. I love this interaction here. Why not? Might give people the wrong idea. And what would that be? That I like you. <laughs> no. So it's a city bank. You like is a and then we're whiskey. off. Everyone's what you wanted, Karen. It's you interrupted, Hosea. If we can manage it. City banks are hot. But we got a lot of guns. <coughs> you think we can do it? I hope so. I really do. Is that a journal I see you writing in? Something like that. That's good. Yes, it is. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna give you your your watch. Here, I picked up this. Whoa. Heard you talking about losing the one your pa gave you. Well, that is mighty kind. Thank you, Arthur. Don't mention it. You got food, health, warmth. Be grateful for that. Hey, ran into a couple of Indians in San Denis. A chief called Rangefall and his son. Yeah, I know the name. They're in real need of help right now. Ain't so okay. bad here. If I never see snow again, it'll be too soon. Yeah, we'll be all right now. I always forget people just like come up and talk to me for no reason. You play a good guard. And you make a pretty good oil man. Yeah. Trelawney and Jose have taught us well. Good evening, Arthur. Okay, I think that's all I need here. That's all we got. We're good. All right, well, I should be getting on. Yeah. Best you leave me alone. Everything okay? Yeah. Well, don't you look slick. Uh, Trelawney got me all tarted up for that river. All tarted up. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay. All right, I guess that's it. I guess that's all for tonight, fellas. And ladies. Partners. <coughs> I will warn you, the first thing that happens the next time we stream is going to be very, very disturbing for a lot of people. Hey, Karen. It is going to be pretty Hi, sad. Karen. People aren't gonna outlaw, recover. Life, huh? So exciting, living free, but it's mostly just sleeping in the dirt, waiting for someone to put a bullet in your head. Jesus, what happened to the old Karen? I opened my eyes. No hat. There we go. And everyone can note can see my uh. My awesome new haircut. Oh, what do you want? Well, I just want to say hi. Good evening. Hey there, Jack. Hi. No. Evening, Arthur. Come on. Get out of here. Oh, I just wanted to say hi. Jesus. Why are you poking around here? I'm not poking around. I just. Good God. Poking around. So eventually we'll have to get up here and meet up with the crazy Croatian guy. Yeah. Well, Kate says, oh no, which is next? Well, you know how we haven't seen Kieran around? We're going to find out what happened to Kieran. Okay? Uh, it's one of the most action-packed scenes in the entire sh in the entire run of the uh, of the of the of the of the game. And
And um, it's also when we first find out that you really shouldn't fuck with Sadie Adler. Sadie is like a ferocious demon in a firefight. And, and that's something we find out in that scene as well. Anyway, um, yeah, Sadie's about to become the star of the show. There's a few missions that we have with Sadie where she is the absolute star of the show. So thanks everybody, um, for being here with this. Uh, we will start, um, with a, uh, very action packed, uh, mission. And it's not going to get any less action-packed after that. Should be a good stream the next one. A lot of, lot of uh, very hardcore stuff. Um, yeah. So yeah, we'll figure out when we're going to do that. Probably not tomorrow. We'll figure it out something else. So um, thanks, everybody. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Hey, smash, smash the like button. Stomp on that like button with your cowboy boots. And, uh, and we'll see you, uh, on the next one. Um, and I'll try to give you more warning next time. Uh, but anybody, anyway, but everybody, uh, we'll see you. And, um, <clears throat> until, until next time, uh, you know, 